on the edge of the Arctic, the isolated outpost of Churchill, Canada. We're on the frontier. Churchill is the end of the civilized world. Raw, wild, dangerous, and every fall, overtaken by nearly 1,000 migrating polar bears. There's more polar bears than people. To a hungry bear, people look like prey. They eat meat, and you're meat. It's survival of the fittest, and with visitors from around the world, it's also a chance for locals to make some cold, hard cash. Everyone feels the need to make as much money as they can in the six-week period. Cheers! Woo! It takes a special breed to call Churchill home. There's tough, and then there's Churchill tough. In the far north, along Canada's Hudson Bay, Churchill, population 800. Churchill has a unique aura about it. It's the end of the rail line. There's no roads to get in and out of here. Everything has to be brought in by air or rail. So it's expensive to live here. Five gallons of fuel costs you over 50 bucks. Life is dramatically different up here. In many respects, we live like people did back in the 1950s. Uh, with kids playing in the front yards, and neighbors that know each other because of that small town uh, community spirit that we have here. Life in Churchill for us is very unusual. It would be impossible to say that it's normal. There's always something out there that wants to eat you. Every night during the six week bear season, the town siren warns, take cover, get inside. Churchill is nothing like I've ever experienced. As soon as the darkness comes, it's a ghost town. You walk at your house, you look around, you make sure everything is cool before you leave because something serious could happen. Houses are generally all open. If you see a polar bear on the street, you can run into someone's house and we don't lock our vehicles. I mean, they're everywhere around here. Churchill sits smack in the middle of an ancient polar bear migration path. It's the last stop before these starving animals hit the ice to hunt seal. Right now, it's October, the peak of bear season, and there's already been one bear attack in town this year. A man was mauled but survived, and everyone's on edge. I feel this year is gonna be a little bit more intense. There's a lot of more bears. The ice isn't freezing quickly enough, so they're not getting across. They're curious, they see something, they wanna grab it, and they wanna taste it.